Howdy guys! Hi! What are you doing? I'm vlogging! Video blogging! Hey! Isn't that a bit? Yeah. Right. That was Ashley and Amber. Here we go. Well, hi! I am a college kid now. Oh my god. It's so exciting. And there's lots of people everywhere, so... There are car pacifiers, and I'm not gonna say hi to any of them. If I say hi to a pacifier, it's gonna be a person this time. We got some Megan over there, I know that. It's so exciting! Here down at, uh, sorry, up, I should say. Here up at Southern New Hampshire University, or SNU, we call it SNU. Can I, like, what's SNU in your world, you know? Um, mass migration. Wow, I might get this easily distracted. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used to this. Alright. I know, I can spot out Will, Lauren, Megan. Hi! It's been a while since I last vlogged. Uh, even this vlog, I didn't really see it coming. The day I found out I came out with the 11th vlog, I was, I was just like... to drinking water right there. So, I know it can be stressful at times, I just wanted to give out a few tips first for your first day's experience at college, if you're going into that or, or thinking about that. Hi, Will. Passerby her right there. Wait, what? Are you doing another one of your uh, creations where you uh, kind of take pictures of yourself and then like have you all over the place? It is another creation, but it is not that. It is a vlog, a video vlog. Oh, uh, okay. Hi. This is Will. <laughs> Finished thought. I got seven tips, seven tips. Tip number one is on the tip of my tongue. Hold on. Oh yeah, confidence. Basically my vlog number six repeated. So like, because everybody's in the same kind of boat here, you know? Like every, nobody knows each other unless you have that rare friend that like went to the same school. And it's like, oh my gosh, you know, it's like, you know, lucky. I have one person here, sister from another mister, Emily. I'm like, I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> Got it. You know, in most cases, you're not going to know anybody. So just make the most of it. I mean, nobody knows anybody there. So that gives you the advantage if you, you know, take your hand up and like to shake hands there and you say, hi, my name is Peter A. Doyle. And I'm pretty damn good looking, you know. I'm not saying you're Peter A. Doyle or anything. You might be pretty damn good looking. You just don't know it yet. Um, you might be Peter A. Doyle when you just don't know it yet. I see Kat coming up here, I'm like, ah! Don't be afraid to do that because the event, that will help you find a spot to sit in like the dining center or to meet people in the student center and stuff like that. Tip number two, hi Kat. That's tip number two is, hi Kat. Hi. I'm not sure that should be recorded. Yeah, <laughs> I'm vlogging. Oh, okay. <laughs> Video vlogging. Okay with that, Logan. Yeah, have a good day. Yeah. It's like perfect weather right now. Like, yeah, I'm loving this. Right. So, um, uh, tip two is uh, <clears throat> get to know the people in your classes, obviously, that's the next step, you know, you're there for you, you're there at college for your classes, remember that. Um, and just, wow, when I talk, this whole bench like vibrates, <laughs> that lets me know I'm talking pretty loud. You know, get to know them, because remember, they're your classmates, you know, they have your class and their mates, that's why they're called classmates, so you can mate with them in class. And I don't know, that's people, they're nice looking anyway, they're good, I bet they're good people. Tip three, clubs and events. Like seriously, this is the coup de gras kind of, I mean, clubs and events, 
especially clubs, okay, curricular activities is where you can <clears throat> really meet a group of people who all share a common interest, like a soccer club or, uh, or a chess club or an anime club, I don't know, whatever you want to do, you know? And uh, it's all up there, it's all up there for grabs. That's where you meet a lot of your lifelong friends there and a lot of your best buddies too. And remember to stick by for the ends of them because usually colleges buy a lot of surplus food for their events and clubs and uh, well, when you're tight on a meal plan, that's God's gift right there. God's given gift is free food in college. I ran out of my meal plan already, $1,500. I still don't really know how I did that. That's right, college teaches you how to stock up like a squirrel. It's hibernation 101 right there. Uh, that should be a class. Yeah, that should be a class. It's like, hey Bob, you want to go to that party at 6? I'm like, nah, man, I got a hibernation 101 class at that time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I get a passing grade, I won't be seeing you for a while. Anyway, that's what sucks about it. But the teachers are nice. And I see I can't let you do that, Dave, right there. He's over there walking all nice and fine. I think he's going that way. And anyway, um, a tip for if you want to get into it, you know, you can do volunteer events too. You can get kind of proactive on your camp. That's another great way to meet respectable people in your, in your environment and to gain respect yourself. You could be admission student leader volunteer like I am, or you could, you could do the admissions office, you could get a job. Um, I don't recommend getting a job on um, right, right, right when you get here because it might be a little overwhelming. Some people do it and it's fine, but I mean it might get a little, I mean you're going to have a lot to do already. You say where are the white women at? I'm like where are the jobs Sergeant Bart? Where are the goddamn jobs, you know? Um, this is crazy. <sighs> So that's where you can go into the extremities of communication right there. Tip five, right? What is it? It's, um... Oh yeah, you got a schedule right. Make sure you get your scheduling right. Don't... Uh, <laughs> be careful with your schedule. I mean, like, set... It's easy to get carried away with what the social life that you might have here and the academic life on the side, the way around. So, yeah, just be mindful. Have, like, a study period, like, seven in the afternoon every night or something like that. Maybe move to eight if you need to, or, or just be flexible. Save some time over the weekend. I mean, I know you do have work to do. I remember an incident a few weeks ago where I, I, I didn't schedule any time to eat. Tip six. Go easy on a party, okay? Go easy on a party. When it's quiet hours, it's quiet hours, right? And don't, like, don't die or something, you know, take the alcohol wise. I know it's boring, but you gotta get it done anyway, you know, and it's informative, I guess. Um, but party safe, party easy. I know this person. Hi. There, hi. Just vlogging over here. It's Brittany, Brittany right there. Peter A. Doyle was pretty damn good. She's still having the phone book. I mean, if you have pictures displayed in the phone book, you're either the president or you're pretty damn good looking. And tip seven is just have fun because it is so much better than high school. Your classes could end early, you can leave right after a test, you don't have to be consecutive, you know, you might have one class another day, three classes another day, no classes the next day, oh my gosh. And it's just a lifestyle, you know, it's just really awesome. I can't word it any other way. And uh, it's a lot of chilly right now, but that's New Hampshire for you, right? This is Manchester, or uh, book set, whatever it's called. It's really not that bad. Would you agree, younger self? No. You're just living in the past. I'm not talking to you. All right, and I got some tattoos. They're not real, but I like to say they're G-tats, but they're not. They're just uh, temporaries. Yeah, I'm a bad boy. And look, background music. I can't dance, like seriously. Like, not you can't dance in a chair. It's, it's like, it's the weirdest thing, but still. Um, you can try. Um, I, I get the weirdest thumbs up. I don't go all the way like that. There we go. That's pretty much a wrap right now. You know, I can't wait to get back into the vlogging season and uh, hopefully end on the 30th of December. Hopefully. By the way, I'm so badass I finally got a phone. I didn't think that was enough, so I got another phone. And both of them don't work. <laughs> this one died. This one doesn't have service. And that's about it. So I will say, uh, I will vote for now and uh, have a good day. Put it there. Put it there.
<laughs> and I, I make up for all the guys that don't wear rings. It's kind of a rock. <laughs> so please check out my other videos on my YouTube channel, Paradox Widget. You can also find me as uh, Logan McCarthy on a Facebook page, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, and Bandcamp. Recent videos added, my, there's nine of them, I do believe. Uh, in order, uh, I, I did a folk duo compilation with uh, my friend Corey Waple we, as We Carve Mountains. And we have our song, uh, Take a Leap, is our single. Check that out. Um, and it's Skippy, which is a little montage video of my dog. One shot. And then there's the vlogs 1 through 10 uh, vlogging music album that's out for sale now. Um, then there's my cover, another cover of Rain of Love by Coldplay. And then there's my five songs in a row are Feel Better Renee, On Lover's Lane, Zeppelin, The Rift, and there are holes in your world, which had surprisingly good feedback, thankfully. I don't know, just give those a listen and I uh, hope you enjoy them. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Got it. That's another passing by out there. Sub us, sub us, grab, peace and scrap. We've got some movies to watch now. A little Irish guy with long red locks. We've got some tracks to hear now. I know it's not cameo.